What's going on guys? One of the tools that I'm trying to get better at is Vim. And uh, if you don't know guys, Vim is a text editor that is command line and uh, I absolutely love it, but I'm not that great at it. I mean, I can open a file, I can edit a bunch of lines, I can add stuff, I can save and that's pretty much it. I can delete a line and that's pretty much it. So the other day, I was working on HA proxy configuration and I got stuck into how to do basic things like moving lines and I wanted to do stuff and I didn't know how to do that. And I was recording a video and I told him, you know what, I'm gonna just do it with a mouse. So in this video, what I wanted to do is like, I want to get better at them and I thought like, why not just document my process in getting better at them during an actual work. So I want I'm, I want to get a something done. So this is what I'm trying to do. I want I want to edit this file and it's precisely what I want to do is move the HA proxy configuration these puppies including this and this to the global section. So I want to do this without essentially cutting and pasting with the mouse. I want you to do it with them. So to get started I can do basic thing, you know, I can write, I can quit and write, you know, I can quit without uh, doing any changes, I can search doing this, hey, I'm searching for timeout and then head, and then I go in, that goes next, I don't remember what, how to go to the previous, to be honest, right, so I just messed it up, right, that, right, so I have no idea how to fix that, for example, right, I know DD, I can just delete it, Right? So that's just messed up, right? So if I do timeout searching, I can go to the next timeout, but I don't know how to go to the previous. It's not P because P apparently pasted something. Is it uh, shift in? It is shift in. All right. Yeah, so that was completely a guess. Shift in goes back and goes forward. So next. It's not straightforward if you think about it, but let's, let's continue. I insert to actually edit, but I don't want to edit anything right now. So here's what I want to do. I want to cut this guy and paste it in the global section. Let's see if, what is the command to do that. So, I don't know, cut, there you go, cut. Uh, it says yank, okay, Y, Y. So yank, copy a line. Would that, would that, will that actually cut the line? I want to cut the line. Delete, cut, oh, does act, does delete actually cut the line? I'm not sure about that. So how, okay, we're, we're gonna try all of that stuff. Because I wanna, I, I, I don't, I wanna copy, but I wanna actually move the line. So I wanna technically cut it. So I guess DD, delete and cut the line, maybe. Okay, we'll, we'll try that out. And what, how about paste? Paste is just small p. How about we try this out? I'm gonna delete this puppy. I'm gonna go all the way up. <laughs> Again, I the only thing, uh, the only, the only way I know is just using the cursor, and then I'm gonna paste, which is P. There you go. So delete actually cuts, and uh, there is like an extra line. I know delete is I'm gonna delete that extra line, and uh, how to get to the? Here's another thing that is annoying. I don't know how to get to the end of the line, literally, right? So let, let's search. How, is there something to get to the end of the line? End of line. Oh, there you go using that so dollar sign so if i go duh, 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 dollar sign oh there you go enter but i have to enter okay so i have to insert in order to insert the, the text okay all right so how about uh, going to the beginning of the line beginning of the line there you go start of the line zero okay We'll do a zero, go to the start of the line. I don't, I don't want to really go to the start of the line at, at this point, but it's good to know. All right. Now let's go down, cut this guy, and paste it right here. Ah, why does it keep adding a new line? That is just annoying. All right. All right, so I, I need to also add a new line. Is there a, is there a way to, just to add a blank new line? As I add a new line. Okay, this cheat shit doesn't doesn't give me how to add a new line. Right? It looks like there is no way to add a new line, so I'll guess I'll just do it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> so all of you like uh, proficient in Vim are making fun of me right now, huh? Okay. So I'm gonna keep cutting this. Is there a way to cut both these lines? It's like because I want to move them uh, HTB mode right here and then this and paste it right here. Is there like a way to cut multiple lines? Mm, doesn't like two lines, cut two lines. Yeah, it uh, looks like it. there isn't a way to do it. I'm just gonna, I've seen somewhere that you can do uh, 2DD. Oh, all right. I, I've seen 2YY, which is like copying twice, right? But 2DD actually works, so I can do paste, and that will paste that thing. Ooh, nice. And just let's delete that extra thing. Ah, oh, man, that's annoying. I really need to figure it out how to fix that. All right, so almost done. And then we're going to delete this mode. And then we're going to delete this mode. And that's it. Now, I really want this to go all the way up, the mode HTTP. So I just did it. And then I'm going to now, I really wanted to insert it. Uh, at the beginning and before me not after me right because if I do P lowercase that adds it after if I do capital P ah that's exactly what I want capital P pasted it above that's it that's what I wanted to do a very simple video to show you how to kind of navigate through things can I get better of course I can but I just did my job and I can just quit right and quit that's it i'm happy with the progress i learned how to cut i learned how to cut double line i learned how to paste and i learned how to paste capital and i learned how to search too search like timeout and then to go to the go to the next search next 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 and and and, and if you go to back hold shift and and, and, and which is capital N essentially okay all right all right guys for finally let's just save and try make sure that everything works so i'm gonna do ha proxy dash if ha proxy dot conf <laughs> we're getting yelled at parsing unknown keyword mode in global section oh it's not global shoot it's supposed to be default. All right, so that's a good opportunity for us to learn. So how do we do that? We need a default section, okay? <laughs> Not a global. And the mode, oh, this is gonna be tricky. This is the only thing that is in global. The, all the rest of the stuff needs to go to the default section. All right, so <laughs> let's cut this. Oh, no, let's go back to escape mode. Uh, copy this and Paste it. All right. So now they are nicely tucked all to each other. And then I'm going to do 4DD. I never tried this. Ooh, works. And then P. Ooh, mamacita. Look at this. Delete. DD. Yeah. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> Slow computer. Capital P. No. All right. This is good. All right. All right. We're good. We're good. Let's do this. H A proxy dash. F H A proxy. Ah, we still getting yelled at. Why? What? What are you talking about? It's default s with an s. Okay, right. So now let's just save and then clear. H A proxy. Uh, dash F. H A proxy. Nice. It's running. Finally, it's done. All right, guys. That's it for me today. Uh, very quick video. I don't know if you if you enjoyed it. it Sounds a bit boring, but I just wanted to show that process because. A lot of the, a lot of people make it sound easy, but it's not. It takes practice, and and you can see me now. And maybe a few months from now, you you'll see me get better at this, and then we're gonna laugh at this video. So, all right, guys, I'm gonna see you in the next one. You guys, stay awesome. Goodbye.